This came out on Friday, and this was actually really, really big news leading into WrestleMania weekend. The Rock is being turned on and is essentially facing uh, what would be called cancellation because he's refused to endorse Joe Biden and basically calls out the division in the culture right now and even uses the term woke, which made me laugh. I love it when boomers use these words. Uh, the Rock turns on Joe Biden and refuses to endorse him for president. This is from Indy 100. Uh, the Rock, Dwayne The Rock Johnson has explosively turned his back on U.S. President Joe Biden ahead of the 2024 election, having endorsed the Democrat in 2020. He went on Fox and Friends, which is already makes you kind of a heretic to them because it's not like you're just on a, a local news station. You're on like basically The Five, which is looked down upon from people, <laughs> especially if you're a liberal, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. uh, so he says, I will keep my... They asked him about it. He says, uh, the 51-year-old told Fox and Friends, the endorsement that I made years ago with Biden was one I thought was the best decision for me at the time. I realize now going into this election, I will not do that. My goal is to bring this country together. I will keep my politics to myself. It's between me and the ballot box. Like a lot of us out there not trusting of all of, politi of all politicians, I do trust the American people and whoever they vote for is my president and I will support that 100%. Thoughts? Thank goodness. <laughs> I'm tired of celebrities talking about no, their politics. Uh, uh, honestly, like I saw people on both sides of this. I said, yeah, like I, I love the idea of just leave it at the ballot box and, yes. and we could get into the weeds about elections and all this stuff. But there was a time where even if you disagreed with the politician, you kind of supported them as your guy. Now, there are a million reasons not to like what's going on in the White House right now. And I understand wholeheartedly that to most people who are really into politics, that this is just a no-go. You're not going to support the dude. I get it. But when it comes to celebrities, making as little of a mark as, po as possible mm -hmm. in politics, I think is a good way forward, especially for their, for their own self-interest, right? For yeah. your own branding. He is in a unique position where he both caters to the, the liberals of the world through his Hollywood movies and television, but also he's in wrestling, which inherently used to have a very, very right-leaning bend to it. Mm -hmm. And now he's launching the UFL, uh, which is a mixture of the XFL and the, U uh, the USFL, two football leagues in and I saw Jack Posobiec basically say he needs uh, MAGA people for <laughs> for that right yeah and yeah. and I just don't see this as a bad thing and I understand that a lot of people don't like it because they think that he's wishy-washy he is he's a mouthpiece for a lot of things he's yep. probably still every bit as much the the old school leftist or liberal whatever will support those policies but I can always endorse somebody just staying out of totally, it. Totally, yeah. I mean, I don't buy it at all. No. But I hope this is the beginning of a new era where Hollywood and politics can part ways once again. Yeah. yeah. And we can maybe even get, like, good content in the future out of this. Right. I think it's sort of hard because how uh, politicized Hollywood has gotten, it, it strips any creativity or any nuance from art and film or anything that come yeah. out of there. Mm -hmm. And so having this stance of being like, I'm just going to keep it to myself and I'm going to do other things. Like, you're right. Maybe it's because he's promoting a different business. He doesn't want to isolate voters. That's fine. But also, good. Good enough. Yes. The only people who really lose from this are the Biden campaign. And I think that's why you saw a couple. Um, there were a lot of headlines saying, like, Taylor Swift's about to announce Joe Biden or Joe Biden made some joke about it. And she hasn't said anything. And again, if she doesn't make a public endorsement this year, I think it's another example of people who are famous starting to be like, I don't actually want to be involved in this conversation. Uh -huh. You guys are all bad. And yeah. let's just step out of it. Because I think they're aware because they are tied to the way Americans spend that people are exhausted. They don't want to talk about politics all the time. I mean, like, I do this for a living and I also am tired of it, you know? <laughs> I want to talk about something else. You just can't get away from it. And I think yeah. the best thing you could do if you're a famous person trying to market something is to remove yourself from politics. Give someone a respite. What I think a lot of them have realized is that entering the conversation at all is a trap. It's a trap because the moment you get brought into it, they get to shape the, the direction of the conversation through the media outlets, uh, how they frame your post or your topic about this. If you look at the way the mainstream media is talking about this, they took him to task for it. They, they, all of the mainstream outlets that usually would champion Dwayne Johnson took him to task for it because they refuse to accept that there's somebody who's not even endorsing the opposite candidate. He just doesn't want to get involved. And the best thing you can do is not, like the best thing he could have done is just not talk about it at all. Mm -hmm. By saying that, by talking about not talking about it at all, he actually uh -huh. shot himself in the foot a little bit because now he's made the conversation public. The best thing you could do would have just been to not endorse anyone like what Taylor Swift is doing. I mean, maybe she will. Maybe she will. Down the line. But but not will. talk about it till then. You can't hold not talking about something against someone as easily as you can. Somebody actively saying that they're not going to get involved.
Right. Right? Like, yeah. it's very easy when somebody says, yeah, oh, I'm going to stay out of it. You can get dragged into that then. Mm -hmm. They can, yep. you've now made, you've structured the, the conversation. They can form any narrative they want to around that by not talking about it. Somebody can certainly write an article and say, why hasn't so-and-so spoken up about this issue? And that might work for a little bit, but it doesn't have the stay. It doesn't have the, the grip that it does if you've entered the conversation yourself. Yeah. I think it's, I think the culture of demanding you know people what like how they feel and what positions they have and you know all of these things is sort of dying away again it's it's happening you're, you're totally right to point this out that mainstream media gave him a hard time but i don't think anybody who likes him as an actor or as a wrestler yeah, was cares. like well how could you do this to me and not tell me your political <laughs> opinion like they're probably happy about it and i wonder was he asked directly yes he was by Fox, by Fox and Friends. Which I so. feel like is inappropriate. There used to be a time where that would be inappropriate and his answer would be completely normal. But the fact that not endorsing Biden is, or saying he's neutral is the same thing as like endorsing Trump is a very new but 2024 thing. thing. Just by going on Fox, he's going to be labeled. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. the problem. Like, the, it's like, it's right even down to the news outlets you associate with. Which, again, to your point, maybe he's just flirting with sort of right wing mm -hmm. uh, sports fans to try and get support for another project. You know, a little grifty, not the end of the world. It's not that crazy to me. I just think this should be the bar for as many actors as possible mm -hmm. or as many creators as possible. So he yeah. added, am I happy with the state of America right now? Well, the answer is no. I do. Uh, he goes, do I believe that we are going to get better? I believe in that. I'm an optimistic guy and I believe we can get better. Quote, I thought back when we, uh, I thought back then when we talk about, hey, you know, I'm in this position where I have some influence and it's my job. Then I felt like that then it's my job now to exercise my influence and share with. No, it's not. We have a $20 super <laughs> chat. Oh, go for it. Um, what? Boosted Yogi? Boosted Yogi. Boosted Yogi. Why can't I read today? Uh, Dwayne is just saving the surprise for the next WrestleMania. His tag team partner will be his it will be his endorsement. Unfortunately, the election Please will tell be... me he's bringing Joe Biden as his partner <laughs> at WrestleMania. Yeah, sadly, WrestleMania was over the weekend, and he did not have Joe Biden as oh, a man. tag team partner. Stop. Missed opportunity. The RFK. The... RFK Jr. as oh, his WrestleMania well, partner. RFK is Please. buff enough. He can I'm least telling show you, up it would rain. be amazing. Uh, I, I, had, I, had so, like, I had so much fun watching the... I, I kept up with WrestleMania over the weekend with uh with updates but the main event at wrestlemania was so much fun this weekend and it looked like the rock was having a whole bunch he, have he, you been to a live wrestlemania event no I, that's i couldn't afford that that's, that's super so, wrestlemania is really, a once a year guys, super oh, you, ha okay. you have to it's get like brett to wrestlemania like, this is the give send go we fun. need yeah like it, it's it's worth it enough just for these hideous pants that he's wearing really <laughs> these weird like silk bell bottoms and it's like only the rock could think that those look good it's how, it's awesome. How much is a ticket to WrestleMania? Uh, I know we could look it up online, but it's not not in my price range. When you yeah, count travel, yeah. hotel, it's just just wouldn't be able to to afford it. It's just uh, and he's also look. What he, if they brought you like brought you as like an influencer? Oh my gosh! What if you did pop culture crisis live from WrestleMania? Luckily, I'm sorry. That would be hilarious. <laughs> this is what I want. One of the things I love about wrestling is that it's such a an insulated environment, meaning that I like I follow wrestling podcasts and it's just such a world unto itself mm -hmm. that I kind of escape general pop culture by going in and watching the podcasts that talk just about wrestling because it's an escape from what's going on in the real world. Logan Paul, like, I kid you not, he like retained the US title at WrestleMania last night. He's a legit wrestler. He can actually wrestle really, really good. But unless you actually watch wrestling, you wouldn't know that he's doing that right. for the mm -hmm. most part, right? Uh, it's awesome. It's awesome. And, and like what, what The Rock is doing right now, he is attempting to play both sides. But I think that also speaks to our polarized kind of we're all kind of hurt by politics feel, mm -hmm. right? Like back in the day, somebody taking the stance wouldn't have been seen as anything wild. Right. Wouldn't have been newsworthy. Yeah, it wouldn't have. And, no. and, I, and I liked it. Like it was like, what was the, the Michael Jordan quote? Republicans buy sneakers too. So I didn't yeah. talk about his politics. I think that quote was, somebody said that was misquoted. I might, uh, I might be wrong about that. But That's I was too bad if quote. it is. It's a good And quote. look, The Rock is absolutely a Hollywood mouthpiece. He's absolutely one of those people who's just kind of bleh. He's whatever the industry needs yeah. him to be. But I'd rather he be bleh and not endorse anyone and just leave it be. Because the moment they do, I just don't care anymore. Like, I like these industries to feel as separate as possible. The yeah. more an actor stays away from it, the the more I enjoy their, I tend to enjoy their work. Because mm -hmm. it's supposed to be an escape, as yeah. you said. Like, yeah. uh, I, I, I pretty easy like i don't know if you guys have this issue but like when we watch movies and television i don't really have a hard time 
separating art from artists, it's fairly easy for me to be like, look, I get caught up in the moment in a movie so easily that it's like, I forget that what I'm looking at is a person who said a whole bunch of crazy shit, <laughs> right? That doesn't bother me. But a lot of people, their memories are longer and then it bothers them when they see these people who have said these things that suck. Like, I don't have that problem. And I think me it neither. bleeds into the art though. That's what the problem is for me right now. You, I see those as separate see issues. You can't see anything as, as being... Yeah, but then you get these like activist actresses who are like, I'm really glad that I could be in yeah. this movie to change the narrative yes. about whatever. And I sort of just want to be like, please leave me alone. <laughs> and I can do that because I, I don't have to click on your content. I don't have to stream right. it. I don't have to buy a ticket to your movie. Yeah. Uh, and I think having someone who's neutral and, and again, just cultivating critical thinking among the audience, letting them letting the message be subtle enough where you're allowed to interpret it on your own, have that, like, if you go to the movies and you, if we all went somewhere, watched something, and I was like, oh, I thought that scene was really cool because it was like a reflection of this. Mm -hmm. And Sarah was like, oh no, I took this from that. Like, that's mm -hmm. why I want to go to movies. Mm -hmm. And that's just not the way movies have been for a very long time. I do prefer it when a director or a writer lets you leaves it open to interpretation, right? Mm -hmm. uh, there's this uh, the the person who created The Boys famously does not like that pe that that MAGA people like that show because <laughs> he doesn't want you to interpret it that way. He wants you to interpret it the way he wants it interpreted, mm -hmm. which is anti-art to me like the whole point should be like you put it out there for everyone to perceive and then however they take it is how they take it right and there's yeah. something beautiful about that to me like yeah, there's right. something i love about that that i think is the point of art that a lot of people don't get absolutely right. same thing with books it used to bother me in like high school when our english teachers would be like okay what's the theme of this book mm -hmm. and there would be one correct answer or maybe a couple correct yeah. answers whereas i feel like the author when they write a book or they make a movie or whatever it is it's kind of the whole idea of art is that it's open to interpretation right like there's not a right answer as to what you took from right. this piece unless of art unless the class is taught by the author who was i was uh -huh. specifically trying to get this theme out there like <laughs> you're just interpreting it too as far right. as i can tell right uh and that's where i i can watch a movie where you have an actor or an actress who's very political right mm -hmm. I can do it. It's fine. I can watch all but the I Captain also, America movies knowing Chris Evans is a super lib. And yeah, it doesn't bother. It, it wouldn't so bother I didn't me. Even know that. On the <laughs> other hand, with some movies, you know, the only reason this person took the role is to promote their prowess among their like when politics becomes kind of like social currency. Yeah, yeah. And that, that it's just I don't I don't want to be a part of it at all. I don't like it, and you're exhausting to me. But again, yeah. I, I follow the news for a living, so maybe I'm more prone to that kind of burnout. Mm -hmm. And not everyone is. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's uh, and, and we'll wait and see if he, uh, I, I, maybe that's good for him, but I imagine that more celebrities will end up with their endorsements closer to election time. But does it, I think at the I, DNC, ask, like, which yeah. is in August, I think you'll see a lot of people suddenly come out and be like, yes, I'm on board. But again, <laughs> Joe Biden's not super popular, so I think you will see fewer celebrity endorsements this time around. That's my prediction. At you're least. more, I say you're more plugged in than me in this stuff. Do you think that moves the needle? Do you think those, do those endorsements actually work? I don't know that they change minds so intensely. I think it's more celebrity endorsements, I think are more about the get out the vote effort among young people. I think it's sort of to make politics cool and make it so you remember that it's happening and that you go to the polls. Uh, I, was, I don't know that, yeah. you know, anyone is like, oh, well, if, if Captain America says he's voting for Joe Biden, I will vote for him. Like that person was probably already gonna vote that right. way, but they might like remember, the oh yeah, it's coming up. I need to season. be more serious about it. I don't even like the go out and vote neutral videos. <laughs> I saw Rhaegar Targaryen says, are you ready for the get out and vote videos? I hate those too. <laughs> I hate those too. Stop telling Bar uh, Brett what to do. I don't want to go. <laughs> vote. I was what's, gonna go. What if I don't want to go and vote? Huh? <laughs> do you ever think of that? Oh, oh, everyone is just like oppositional defiance. Like, <laughs> no. Like, it's like, we go and vote like, well, now that you say so, I don't think I will. Have you seen that advertisement for the Bible app that's kind of viral and it's on the subway? I think it's in London and it's like zero out of five stars would not recommend Satan. Like, <laughs> like he's like against it. Like that's what you guys need. It's like don't yeah, go yeah. to the polls. And you're like, well, Whatever maybe I will. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Listen to full episodes of Pop Culture Crisis on Spotify. Keep up with us on social media, and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show. Bye, guys.